Hey, Facebook pals and YouTube friends. I am Curtis Robinson. I'm the owner of Conway Toe to Toe and Toe to Toe Firearms and Training. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the trolls again. You know, I think a lot about you guys out there trolling not just my page, but other pages. And sometimes you guys are, I got to give you credit, sometimes you guys do hit the nail on the head. So I put together a really good video about making the clinch and throwing knees. So if you're a Muay Thai enthusiast or a kickboxer of any kind, and you grab the person around the, you know, the head, you put them in the grip and you pull them in and you start throwing knees, if you've ever done that, the first thing is, is it's awesome. It's an awesome thing to do to another human being. Uh, it's very, very difficult for someone to effectively punch you while you hold them in the clinch, you're controlling the head which means in many cases you're controlling their balance and uh, it just gives you a great advantage which is why in kickboxing it is essential that you know some clinch moves, how to clinch, how to throw the elbow from the clinch, how to kick from the clinch and how to throw knees from the clinch and even how to make takedowns and throws from the clinch. But anyways, I made this super cool video. And out of the blue, this guy, who I, by the way, I always look, if you're going to troll me, I'm going to look at your YouTube channel or I'm going to look at your Facebook page and I'm going to see what are you offering? You know, what do you know about the subject? Maybe you're an expert. Probably not. So this guy is trolling me about this, this, uh, clinch video about, about this, uh, I'm trying to show people how to throw knees to the legs, knees to the body, knees to the head, the whole nine yards. And he goes, bro forgot that when he's in the, when he's clenching somebody else, his groin is wide open. Well, nothing more in the world could be more, nothing could be more true than that. It is true. If I grab somebody by the head and I pull them down into my chest, they're literally staring at my groin. It's right there. They could reach forward and they could grab a handful of, you know, balls. They really could. They could punch to the groin. They really could. Very true. And when somebody trolls you like that, you kind of have to do a little hat tip. Right? Give them the salute. And the thing that I wanted to kind of remind the world about is there could be value in something beyond what the troll is looking at. So kind of don't get distracted by the troll. <laughs> The troll was right. You could grab somebody's testicles from the clench. You certainly could. You could make a, you know, a, a slap. You know, you could punch to the groin. I was sitting there thinking, you know, this guy, you know, maybe he's a kung fu master or you know something, and he's thinking, strike the groin. You know, kempo karate, kempo. These guys love to strike the, the eyes throughout the groin. I mean, it's a, it's a thing. I love that, by the way. I'm not against that. I think we should strike the groin in self-defense. However, in a kickboxing video on a kickboxing channel talking about kickboxing moves, aren't we always susceptible to being punched or kicked in the groin? The groin is so vulnerable that couldn't I legitimately stop kickboxing and focus exclusively on attacking someone's groin <laughs> and maybe win. Of course. It seems funny to me and I hope it's funny to you but it, there's great truth. If you strike the groin it's extremely effective. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you punch me in the face I'm probably going to wear you out. But if you make a really, really good kick to the groin I have about three to five seconds before I'm on my knees to finish you off. So if you can strike the groin and make space and dance for three to five seconds, I'm probably going to be out, man. I'm going to be done. You kick somebody hard enough in the groin, unless they have a really good protective, you know, groin protector, good protective cup, they, you know, it's going to work. That crap will work. Totally will work. All right. So let's talk about all the ridiculous ways to tear apart my video. Number one, 
You could strike to the groin. Yes, that would work. That doesn't mean there's no value in the desire to learn how to use a clinch and knee. Right? You can strike to the groin. By the way, if I clinched somebody who had a gun, they could shoot me in the balls. Right? If I clinched somebody who had a knife, they could just cut my legs, my thighs, and my balls to bits. It'd be like testicle sushi. That'd be bad. If I clinched someone who thought far enough ahead and maybe had recently used a shop towel to clean up some gasoline and they had a, a lighter, they could put the gasoline soaked towel on my groin area and set my balls on fire. Just, just say it. If I clinch a guy in combat and he has a hand grenade, he could hold the hand grenade, pull the pin, and blow my balls to bits. And most of him and most of me as well. You guys see how ridiculous the trend is here? I'm talking, you know, with a hand grenade, he brings a totally new meaning to the word balls to the wall, right? Yes, you can attack the groin, but can we always attack the groin? Let's look at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which I teach. I'm teaching people how to do arm locks and chokes and leg locks and how to throw people and roll people and sweep and get a better position. I'm teaching the system such as it is. At any time, even if I have a dominant position, someone could attack my groin area. They certainly could. They really could. Um, in Filipino stick and knife fighting, which I also teach, that's Grima, Kali, right? Arne. Instead of teaching somebody all these super cool patterns and getting them good with you know, using two hands, do you know dual weaponry, stick and knife, double stick, double knife. Why don't I just stop teaching all of that and focus on using the knife to hit people in the balls? Do, you know, think about it. Wouldn't that be awesome? Your whole system is: I got a stick, I'm hitting people in the balls. It wouldn't take long to learn. That crap would work. It'd be effective. Right? <laughs> so yes, the balls are there and it's a highly effective target. Anybody that disagrees with me is just wrong. So why would I bother now teaching anything? Why would I teach boxing? Well, there are boxers out there that decide to do professional boxing, amateur boxing, golden gloves boxing, self-defense boxing. And they don't really intend to attack the groin, so to speak. They want to knock somebody out the old-fashioned way and do so reasonably honorably. Now, they may be a fool to fight with honor against somebody without honor, but there's still value in teaching boxing. Why would I teach kickboxing, particularly the knees? Well, first of all, you can knee someone in the groin. That's pretty cool for self-defense. But the kicks and the strikes and the clinching and... Everything that really is kickboxing itself is super cool. The system is cool. The, the lineage and heritage or the traditions of kickboxing are very cool. To include karate, kempo, taekwondo, any other punching and kicking hard. Very cool. Judo, jiu-jitsu, sambo. Greco-Roman wrestling, folk style, freestyle wrestling. If all you gotta do is hit somebody in the balls, it seems like we don't need any of those things. It's pretty funny. All right, let me get serious for a minute. Any reasonably good martial artist is going to know that I don't want to be hitting the eyes of throat or the groin. I'm going to try to keep people that are striking the eyes of throat or groin at a reasonable distance. That's why we have the front kick. That's why we have the side kick. That's why we have the jab and cross. Right? He 
keep that in mind. If you can tie up the individual's arms in wrestling of any kind, judo, jujitsu, sambo, and in tying up their arms, you're able to throw them on their head or on their neck. You pretty much have defeated the whole, well, all I need to do is practice throwing strikes. Tie up the arms, take them out. In Filipino stick and knife fighting, if anybody doubts this, you have to do the research. Come visit me for one. If somebody's trying to strike anywhere on my body and I have a stick and you don't, I'm going to break the closest thing to me, which is probably going to be your hands. I'm going to strike the hands, the arms, and then if the feet are close, I'm going to strike the feet, the legs. I'm going to strike the head, and every time I strike, I'm striking with the stick with the intention of making you unable to use that part of your body. It's not like boxing, kickboxing, or judo, or jiu-jitsu. It's specifically that you defang the snake. It's specifically, let's break the hand that would grab the groin. Let's break the hand that would punch. Let's break the foot that would kick whatever it might be. Let's destroy that appendage and then work up the body and hit the bo- you know, hit the head, for example, or hit the body. Guys, I'm also a firearms instructor. The whole purpose of the firearms industry is not to get close to people to defend yourself using a firearm at long range and it completely dismantles just about every other form of martial arts when you kind of think about it. All I need is a gun. I don't need kickboxing or karate. I don't need it. I don't need judo. I don't need jujitsu. I don't need sambo. I don't need wrestling. Don't need it. I got a gun. So why are we training at all for whatever reason? Why are we doing that? Well, number one, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Number two, it's incredibly great physical training. It's physical fitness wrapped up in a great enjoyment. Number three, there may be times and places you aren't carrying your gun. Right? You'd have to be a pretty special person to carry a firearm past TSA into the airport, for example. Can't have a gun, can't have a knife past the TSA checkpoint, I can tell you that. That's a big no-no. There are many places, many times when I am completely unarmed. For example, when I'm in the shower, I don't bring my gun. I don't bring a knife to the shower. I probably should. I think I should I should get a waterproof gun, something maybe a Navy SEAL would carry, and, you know, leave it in the shower just for those occasions, right? Guys, the whole purpose of this video is to remind people that, yes, the shot to the groin is good. No one will deny that. But we're, we're not forgetting about it. We might not be focused on it at the minute, but what we're doing is we're teaching a system of martial arts that includes something other than the growing straight. Guys, I hope this has been funny. I hope it's been enjoyable. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's extremely important. And for all of you trolls, you freaking know who you are. Keep trolling, baby. Just keep tro- keep trolling. You're pushing my algorithm harder than anybody because when you say something that might be true but still is trolling, can guarantee I'm going to respond and other people are watching your comment, my comment, and it's pushing the algorithm. You're making my channel better. Yes, I probably hate you, just so you know it. The trolls out there, I, ugh, I just want to strangle you guys. Please do me one favor. If you're going to troll me, how about tell me something you did like about the video, right? Bro forgot that his groin is open. Good luck with that. That was the comment, by the way. All right. Noted. What did you like about the video? Did you like the knees? Did you think the knees would be effective if maybe I was an alien and, you know, like the guy out of Men in Black. It was a bald chinian. Your balls are under your freaking chin here. You, you 
can't strike the groin if I'm a Balchinian. It's so stupid. Anyways, the bottom line, guys, leave me a good comment. Leave me an emoji. Give me a like or a share. Definitely subscribe. Those things are helpful. And I am here spending my time making good videos the best that I can. Number one, for enjoyment. I enjoy doing it. Number two, for your enjoyment. Apparently, you guys enjoy trolling. And for those that aren't trolling, that are genuinely looking to be educated, informed, instructed, I hope that my videos do that for you. Rant over. Take care. God bless.